So, Lara, are you ready to put on your sea legs? No. Oh, well, uh, too bad. We got a nautical part. Maybe sea isn't the right word, but my point is we're, we're in a boat. And for you viewers, I felt like mixing it up. Actually, can, can I just mention something real quick? Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it, the thing I did is happening regardless. But you can you can just chuck the subject. It's fine. Uh, well, I just wanted to say, I kind of feel like maybe um, Bioshock Infinite borrowed from this scene a little bit. A person with a heavy debt, a heavy heart. I mean, maybe. On uh, a boat going into unknown area. I mean, I guess that's a way to interpret it. But you know what we have to, well, what what's going on here? We have to find a light. That, that The first objective is finding a light. The second objective is swimming towards it, or rowing it's towards it. The lighthouse. I, I'm getting a great Gatsby vibe from it. That's an interesting thought. Isn't it? I don't know. I, I like the Great Gatsby despite I everything. I have not read the Great Gatsby. Really? Yeah. Well, it's on my to read list, but that thing's like a million books long. Yeah, I have it. I have it too. I still okay. haven't read it. Okay, well, no worries. I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't think there's any sort of. Oh, wait, actually, I take that back. I guess you could make some sort of interpretation between Gatsby and, and James seeking a, a woman that is kind of beyond their grasp. And always kind of living in the past a little bit. Yeah, that, that's a good that's a good way to interpret it. Uh, one thing that's worth noting is wasn't the light in the Great Gatsby though always green? Uh, or was it, was it yellow? No, I think it's green. Or maybe it was yellow. I don't know. Those small details not important. What's important is we're just we're just swimming or rowing. Uh, apparently, I get swimming and rowing mixed up, but you know. Regardless, th this is what's happening. This is what we're doing. We're into Luca Lake. I love the solitary foreboding vibe of this. I mean, it, it, we're going to the Lakeview Hotel. I mean, not to interrupt the next uh, thing that's happening, but, you know, literally, we're, we're going to be at the Lakeview Hotel. And, you know, that that's what the game's been building up to. So, you know, it's got to be it's got to be big, you know. It's yeah. got to be important. So, we're here... And I mean, like, it's not as long as you think it would. It just, it, it's just a little annoying. So I kind of felt like something. I like was that entirely necessary with how long that it took. It felt unnecessary. Like, well, it was artificially padding the game a few minutes. I, I would say it's probably part of it. Maybe, maybe it's trying to add some sort of build up for the fact that you know this, this is it. Like you're. You're about oh, to yeah. meet Mary, so it's kind of like, you know, the... Well, yeah, because one of the big things about Silent Hill and why it did so well was that it was atmospheric. Mm -hmm. So that that solitary boat trip did add to the atmosphere. But at the same time, it feels kind of more like padding, doesn't it? It does. It, feel, it feels like it was a bit too long mm -hmm. to just be for aesthetic value. Man, this place doesn't change. I will say this. It does change on the harder difficulties. Really? Yeah, you actually have to, like, make more of an effort to row. I think one button rows the left paddle, the other button rows the right. Oh. Uh, on normal and easy, it's pretty much just straightforward. Um, here I go. Also, the camera angle is really working against me. The Little Mermaid. Yeah. Are you familiar with the original tale of The Little Mermaid? No. Would you like to enlighten everybody on the channel? Sure. So the in the original tale of the Little Mermaid, she did go to the sea witch. She did get legs, and she did sacrifice her it, voice for it. Yeah, isn't it supposed to kind of be like making a deal with the devil? Um. Uh, kind of in that essence. You it, know? No, it was more like visiting visiting that old spinster witch Ooh. that is not. Yeah, I'm sorry. Horrible. I'm just like uh, waiting for you. Uh, that's. Uh, She's not evil per se, but she does require a price. It's she's well, much yeah. less evil in the story than she is in the Disney movie. Mm -hmm. um, but she does get her legs. The thing is, though, is that every time she walks on them, it feels like knives are stabbing her legs. Oh! And she falls in love with this prince, and they actually have they actually have several months where he where she just kind of stays by his side. They go on lots of hikes mm -hmm. with the legs that feel like knives, and she ends up bleeding 
a lot. Jesus. Because... Is this one of those Grinch tells? Yeah. Okay. Actually, well, it's Hans Christian Andersen. Okay. Well, I mean, it sounds like one of the Grimm's, Grimm's brothers still... Anyways, cutscene. Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. <laughs> I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Oh, here we go. Here's the letter. Well, I mean like an actual letter letter. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. So, I got a question. Is that her sisters or is like their sister? Is there like a pair of sisters in, in the room or something? No, or sisters they... as in it's probably um, a religious hospital. Okay. So oh, nuts. okay. All right. Yeah. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me. But well, you know. give him a chance. It's true, he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't <laughs> laugh much, but underneath, he's a really sweet person. Aw, so, you know, backstory. Jay there's more to James than meets the eye. Or there was. Yeah, there was. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. See, here's something interesting. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Right? Happy 8th birthday, Laura. He's only supposed to be 8. Mm. You're a friend forever, Mary. I thought she was a little... No, I guess eight works. Mm -hmm. Laura, how old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one Mary... I must have dropped it. Laura? I gotta find it! Laura... So, something I have to note. Notice how... Laura's a bit nicer to James. Yeah. I mean, like, she, she's kind of a snot-nosed brat, or she was, but now she's actually, she like, she's more social, not really trying to pick on James, except maybe at the beginning, but she, it seems like she's relatively nicer now. Yeah. But it, James also treated her nicer in the beginning, too. I think it's a matter of, of, a, 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 um, again, mirrors, another mm -hmm. thing of mirrors, mirroring behavior. Anyways, you want to know something interesting? Actually, I don't even need to change weapons. I was thinking to myself, you know what would be a good thing to have now? Shotgun. Yep. Because, uh, let me tell you something. We're basically kind of getting towards the end of the game. I mean, this it might not be quote-unquote the last area, but, I mean, we, we got some pretty hard enemies uh, in this room, believe it or not. So while you're fighting, I will destroy the Little Mermaid. Well, I mean, as, a, as I'm getting molested. I mean, I, let's be honest, there's not really anything else to do with here other than these guys are. So, the Little Mermaid and the Prince build up a relationship that get along really well. However, the Prince is still a prince and must marry a princess in a bond between two kingdoms. So, he does end up marrying a princess. And she is doomed to die. Um... Because he will not reciprocate her love. That was part of the agreement. So, 
The sea witch comes to the surface and offers the little mermaid a knife to kill the prince in which she would revert instead back to her mermaid self and would be able to live forevermore. What? So, uh, this, this isn't anywhere near the, the nice, friendly Disney v- version I heard. All right? I, there was, like, magic. There was a scene crab. So, um... But, I mean, come on. I didn't, I didn't hear anything about Sebastian the crab singing, like, under the sea. Um, so, she first dances at their wedding a lot, which, keep in mind, her legs are... It's very painful, but she dances. And... She goes into uh, their room. They're on a ship. And she goes into their room. Nice holy ship over her head, ready to kill. Like, like right then. Yeah. 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 Actually, I'm sorry. The, this happens before their wedding. She goes in before their wedding. Knife poised, ready to kill, but then decides not to. And then she dances at their wedding as a show, as a sign of goodwill. And then, as dawn approaches, she becomes the sea foam. No, oh, that's so tragic. There is an addendum that was added later to this that some say Hans Christian Andersen meant to include, some say he chose not to. There's there's some con- uh, conflict about the validity of this little thing attached. Uh, understandable, yeah. But it was um, something children, it's like fairy children, so, something along that line, that raise her spirit and say you can become alive again we can help you free you from what is essentially purgatory um by going and visiting children and every time you see a children laugh and being praised by their parents it takes off a day but every time you see a child behaving badly, it adds like a hundred days to your sentence. What? Yeah, it was it was it was clearly a, a dig thing to, to get children to behave. Well, yeah, like all all the all the fairy tales back then, and which were like horrendous and a uh, music box puzzle. I need two more music boxes. But that that's the story of the Little Mermaid. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, but that's that's horrible. What what happened to the uh the King ne- King Triton and and Ursula who's like who's like give me your voice and then she becomes a princess and you have like Sebastian the crab who has a Jamaican accent. It's debatably racist. <laughs> but my point is, you know, he has a, he has a fun song that's under the sea and like you know everyone's all happy and sunshine and and it's like you know Ariel she has the song about wanting more like every Disney princess and debatably that's also very relatable to my own life but you know my point is you know it's happy and fun and uh by the end you know they live happily ever after until the little mermaid 2 which features ariel's daughter who's like trying to do the exact opposite of her mother well the thing is is that the the sea king really didn't matter much well, in the original story from what i understand the sea king was like probably just a blip it in, in, in the story. Probably yeah. mentioned and then, and that, then that's forgotten. it. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. No one cares. The sea queen was the... Whoa, the, queen? No, sorry, not sea queen. I was gonna but say the, the, the Disney the Disney version like never brings up Disney moms. I don't know what I don't know what that's supposed to represent. But at the same time it's like it's like a thing that is never brought up. There's no reason to. Uh, uh mannequin has to die. The the sea witch is actually impoverished because of Triton banishing her after something bad went with magic. Oh, I mean, he, it, she probably turned everyone into a sea worm. No, actually, she was a very kindly woman, and she she though she only asked what she needed for payment. What she needed, she was very much. It was a very much about a quid quo, quid pro quo situation. Oh, quid pro quo. Yeah, it, it's Latin for this for that. Yeah. It's, it's well, I mean, come on, equivalent exchange. Yeah. Basically. Whoa, there's another one. I was not ready for this at all. That was that was what sacrifice are you willing to make in order to have this? Oh, absolutely. I mean, so, come on. Uh, full mal- if nothing else, full metal alchemist told me uh, equivalent exchange. Yeah, it's how the word world works. I mean, it's how I work. It's how you know this this life uh, has to be taken, or whatever this is. I don't know. It's on a hill. Who cares? <laughs> I have I I can't make the connection here. But I mean, this. Uh, 
No, I appreciate that. Uh, I, I didn't know the real story about the Little Mermaid. I gotta be honest. Uh, a lot, a lot of these stories, I know, like they're pretty twisted, and the. Um, yeah, in the be. original Cinder, well, not the original. Okay, so there's multiple versions of the. Cinder- I would Cinderella. love to talk about Cinderella, but we are at our time oh, limit. Oh dear! All right. Uh, so I'm gonna have to stop you there, and we will have to like explore more of the Lakeview Hotel next time. See you guys next time.